Have you ever been writing a manga and thought to yourself, man, I really wish I could up my heroine's cup size a few letters, but I just don't know how to justify that. Well, time skips is the solution. If you watch anime or read manga, especially shonen, you're probably somewhat familiar with the time skip, where all of a sudden the story will skip over a bunch of time and then pick back up after that jump. This happens in each of the so-called big three. One Piece, Naruto, Bleach, along with Sword Art Online and Berserk and many, many others. So why do these things happen? Why anime? This is the name of the show. Where did all these time skips in manga and anime come from? Unlike other anime tropes like Magical Girls and Nosebleeds, plug. Time skips aren't something that manga and anime created or developed. It's a general writing technique that has been used by writers for a long time. For example, let's take a time skip of our own to your 11th grade lit class and look at Beowulf. After the titular main character defeats a pair of monsters and becomes king, the story flashes forward 50 years later. Beowulf must once again take up arms and go slay a dragon, a battle that ends with, spoilers for a thousand year old book, in death for both of them. Because time skips are so common in fiction and have been for a really long time, you can't point to a single source and say that's where anime and manga got it from. However, if anything could be picked out as the most noteworthy time skip when it came to influencing them, it would probably be the tale of Genji. N not that one. Ahuga. Genji is sometimes considered to be the first modern novel, having been written early in the 11th century. After our initial main character, Genji, dies, the story skips forward about 25 years and tells the story of his son, Kaoru. Well, okay, technically, Kaoru isn't Genji's son. He's the son of Genji's wife, the, the son of his third wife, but that wife conceived Kaoru with Genji's nephew after the two hooked them up. Look, Imperial Court melodrama is complicated. The point here is that from the very birth of long form storytelling, time skips have been used, and Japan has been in the time skipping game since day one. But what about anime and manga? It wouldn't be surprising if time skips were there right from the beginning of Osamu Tezuka's series. As far back as the ancient, ancient 1940s, the father of manga created thousands of manga over his career, many of which were never translated into English. But the first example that we found wasn't one of Tezuka's works, but 1974's Get a Robo. This series is noteworthy for creating the iconic combining robot sequences that have gone on to influence everything from Gridman to Gurren Lagann. In the Get a Robo manga, there's a time skip after each series, so by the end of the series, the initial main characters are old men. Something to note about these time skips is that they took place in between separate series. The original Get a Robo manga told a complete story and then was followed by Get a Robo G, which picked things up a few years later. This form of time skip connects multiple distinct entries in the same universe between seasons instead of within them. It's a model that seems to have been most common for a while. For example, the incredibly influential Gundam franchise had time skips between its first few entries. The second series, Mobile Suit Zeta Gunman, took place eight years after the first, with the third series Double Zeta taking place a year later. The film that capped off the whole saga, Char's Counterattack, was set five years after that. The era of separating installments with time skips would end in 1983 with the debut of a manga called Fist of the North Star. Nani? But more importantly for our purposes, it had a time skip after its first arc, without that second arc coming in the form of a new sequel series or anything. This would quickly become a trend. One year later, my boy Akira Toriyama's seminal Dragon Ball manga made its debut, and it too would end up featuring multiple time skips over the course of its 11 year run. Dragon Ball left a massive mark on the shonen genre moving forward, and thoroughly cemented time skips as an industry standard, along with tournament arcs, training arcs, and a broad supporting cast of friends for our hero. Future plug. Okay, so we've gone over the lineage of time skips in anime and manga, but why, anime, are they used? <sighs> It's the name of the show, man, come on, you can give me this one. Now, the best way to explain this is to have someone else do it, more specifically the creators of notorious time skip anime and manga. One Piece creator Eiichiro Oda said 17 year old Luffy didn't stand a chance of beating powerful enemies like Yonko. I needed to use a two year time skip to help Luffy and his crew grow by expanding their imagination. 
Naruto's author, Masashi Kishimoto, gave a similar reason. Naruto and his friends were much weaker than the antagonist he introduced, the Akatsuki. And so he used a time skip to the point where the characters could actually challenge them. And this makes total sense. One of the defining factors of Shonen series, and one of their strongest appeals, is the growth of characters. Because they often run for so long, we get to go on an extended journey with the cast as they grow up and get stronger over the years. Time skips are just a natural extension of this. They allow us to progress quickly through less interesting periods of time and still see the characters grow. But that's not the only reason. There's one that manga creators might be a little less eager to mention. Time skips also help tidy up plot threads that can get tangled. I mean, that's understandable when you're essentially composing your story on the fly week to week. For all but the most careful mangaka, small issues like this are almost inevitable. In Hirohiko Araki's case, he just ignores the loose threads of JoJo's bizarre adventure and moves on. But not all authors are telling stories as bizarre as Araki's. Few of them can get away with what he does. In most cases, these time skips offer a chance for them to say, and in the past two years, all these various unresolved things conveniently reach their conclusions, without having to go into too much detail on how exactly they did so. It's a valuable option to have when you're constructing a story in conditions as hectic as weekly manga creation. Hell, apparently the creator of My Hero Academia forgot about a subplot he set up 10 volumes ago. Remember the traitor that was skulking around UA? Well, neither does Koei Horikoshi. Supposedly. Time skips are also great for stories that cross generations. Magical Girl Lyrical Nanaha is a perfect example of this. Nanaha starts off as an innocent nine-year-old girl, but after a few time skips, she's a magic-wielding badass and caring mother. We get to watch the whole journey from her falling in love with mysterious fate Testarossa to our resulting lesbian power couple eventually adopting a daughter who goes on to have adventures all her own. Without time skips, generational stories like these would be very difficult to tell. However, you may have to be wary because time skips can also be used for evil. Anime only viewers of Usagi Drop may not know it, but there is a time skip that happens later on in the manga. Most of our series centers around protagonist Daikichi adopting the daughter of a family member after they pass away. This experience with single parenthood allows him to really mature as a person. The girl he takes care of, Rin, undergoes similar growth herself. It's a wholesome, charming, heartwarming story, until the time skip where Rin, now a high schooler, tells Daikichi, a man who has raised her since she was six years old and who is 24 years older than her, that she wants to have his baby. Yikes. But not every time skip is yikes. The crew from Fairy Tale came back to a wildly different world after their time skip, and I think many fans would agree that it was interesting to see the guild and the whole kingdom of Yori reshaped after a long absence. And that One Piece time skip? Sure, it meant Nami, um, matured, but she matured in more ways than one. After her time on Wetheria, Nami honed her weather manipulation skills and her combat prowess, and it's been sick to see her holding her own on the battlefield since then. While time skips are a common device used throughout fiction, their history in iconic anime and manga have made them a beloved trope of the genre. So time skips, I salute you. I'm Kurt, this is Gin the Robot, your anime explainer, and if you like this video, subscribe. We'll keep them coming.